and welcome back to Sight Detection. I'm Meredith. And I'm Melanie. I'm behind the camera today. Do you want to see a chemical reaction in action? Today we're going to show you by how using vinegar and soda and an egg, we can transform it into a bouncy ball. What? Okay, Meredith, what are we going to need for today? We are going to need three large eggs. We are going to need some vinegar. We have some clear vinegar. You can use dark vinegar if you want. We have some lemonade. And you can also use Coca-Cola or anything, any fizzy drink. So a jug of water, three jars, a spoon and a tray because it gets a bit messy. Perfect, okay. So what have you got in your jars there, Merida? I've got a bit of, I've got, um, Lemonade in this one. I've got vinegar in here and I've got water in here because I've re-prepared some just before this Okay, uh, lovely. Would you like to pop an egg in each of those jars and bottles? Or cups I should say mm -hmm. Okay, and then we'll put the lid on it Be careful when we're doing this. We don't want to crack the egg So we want to pop them in there pop the lids on your jars And I'm going to come in and just have a little bit of a look to see what's happening here. So what's happening on the water one? Nothing much, just Not plain old water. A couple of little bubbles. Oh, what's happening to this vinegar one in the middle? There's lots of teeny tiny weeny bubbles. There's thousands of them as well. There is. So vinegar is actually an example of an acid, okay? And it's reacting with a compound on the egg called calcium carbonate. And it's creating a chemical reaction, okay? And it's starting to dissolve that eggshell. So let's have a little look at this last one. What's in there? There's bubbles also at the bottom and on the egg. Okay. They're a bit bigger this time. So this is the lemonade. So soda does contain sort of phosphoric acid and also citric acid. A very, very much a weaker kind of acid than what we have in the vinegar. But again, we see lots of little bubbles of carbon dioxide that was in the, the soda there. So, as in True Blue Peter style, we have some that we have prepared earlier. So, Meredith, if you'd like to take these out, we can have a little look and see what's happened. We're going to start with the water one sir, first. Okay. So, Meredith, if you want to take that out with your cap, we can have a little look and see. So, this has been lit. Oh, it's not going to go in. Maybe. Okay. You could maybe pour some of the water out into the jug. And just catch your egg as it's going to fall out. Perfect. Okay, can you catch it? So what's happened to the egg that was submerged in water? This has been left overnight for about 24 hours. Nothing much, just a, just a plain old egg. So Feels it's still like quite it hard, shell's intact. Feels like it was before. Okay. Nothing much. Let's look to the next one. So we're going to go to this one next which is the one that was in our soda. Okay, so how's that feeling, Mary? Look at all the tiny so little bits. So if we have a look, we can see that the shell is starting to dissolve away. And we can see, but does it still feel quite hard after 24 hours? Yeah, yeah, quite hard and sturdy. But it is starting to dissolve and eat away at that. So you might want to leave that one for a wee bit longer mm -hmm. in the soda and see what happens. But let's have a little look and see what's happened to our one in vinegar. Okay. Oh, Ooh. this is interesting. So what's happened to you, Mary? All the shell has peeled off. And as you can see, it's just a big, just a big blob. So it's kind of like, this is the membrane, okay, that was underneath the shell. So the acid has attacked that calcium carbonate on the outer shell, eating it away, but it doesn't eat away and dissolve the membrane, okay? So it leaves that intact. But also, if you can see, the egg looks like it's got bigger. Yeah. So it's obviously absorbed a little bit of that vinegar. So let's see. So over your tray, drop it from a little bit of a height and let's see. Whoops! Looks like I dropped the egg a bit too hard. But usually when you guys do it, you drop it a bit softer so it would like bounce up and down. 
Okay, so we've got a little bit of a splattered egg here. Oh, no. But try it at home, see how you get on, and see if you can make your egg feel all rubbery. So, that's goodbye from me, Melanie, from behind the camera. Goodbye from me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, write a link in the description, and thanks, Detective, out. Bye-bye.